everybody, this is JIDS96, back with another Transformers LEGO video. Um, today I'm going to be doing someone that I, uh, wasn't really planning on doing, but I decided to. Um, so yeah. I, I think it was in, um, I don't think, I don't know if I said it or not, but I wasn't really planning on making one. It's him. I'll show it in a second, but, uh, well, wait, you already know from the title. There's somewhere. Oh, there, sorry. But anyway, and yeah. So, uh, yeah, so I just ended up making him. I don't really know why. I just randomly made him. So here is Transformers Lego Animated Lockdown. Here he is in this kind of muscle car mode, some sort. Okay, camera's finally standing upright. So yeah, here he is, his car mode, um, which I think, um, is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I, I kind of like it. Uh, he's supposed to be a little bit more flat and kind of sleek, but this one's a little bit, like, chunky, I guess you could call it. Um, but yeah, has the kind of tailpipe, or er, <laughs> not tailpipe. Uh, the, whatchamacallit, uh, whale tail, or whatever you want to call it, I don't know. But this is kind of like that and everything. So, and also it's a really cool, uh, driver's part. I just like the windshield, because the red, just like with the toy, has a skull around. And it has a Decepticon symbol on there. It doesn't have a Decepticon symbol in robot mode, because I didn't have enough pieces for one. But I made one for the car mode, so it's still pretty cool. Um, so yeah. He stays together pretty well, because you can see I'm holding it from here. Not really any pieces falling off. Except for the motor part, which is also his EMP, that just slides on in there. Just slide it in there. It doesn't lock in anywhere, because I couldn't make anywhere that it could lock in, so I'm going to try to find a way later. I just didn't have any, or I like the right pieces to make it really lock in there be good because it keeps falling out but oh well yeah it's this cool little motor too so um yeah he has the big wheels which are black and they roll pretty well you can see he rolls he's mainly black there's a little bit of tan a little bit of orange a little bit of red a little bit of um yellow and yeah it's kind of a mix of colors a little bit of blue too mostly gray black and green but yeah, and there's also like a little bit of green back here. There's some gray, black, mostly mostly black, like I said though. That's his main color. But he also has main green stripes down here. If you take out the EMP you can see them better right here and over here. But yeah, just slide that right in there. Uh so yeah. Not really that much else to talk about. It does lock together pretty well. It doesn't really fall apart. Well, sometimes it does, but it doesn't do that a lot, so it's pretty secure. You can pick him up pra practically wherever, and his car mode's pretty cool. Everything is pretty much not showing. I mean, you can't see his head. The only thing you can really see are his, these are actually his arms that hold it all together, and his hands are sticking out, but everything else is pretty well hidden, so that's pretty good. So yeah, to transform him, pretty easy. You just slide out the EMP, like I said, just put that aside. First, you. Ah, crap. It's not supposed to happen. Sorry about that. So, yeah, you just unlock the arms from the. from these parts. Just. they're held in by these little thingies. So, you just pop those out and you can just fold them kind of up there. Then you can just kind of lift it up and they'll just kind of fall down. And they kind of rest against those, by the way. Just to. But, you know, and yeah, you just keep folding them down. They're held in pretty well, like, these are actually the legs. They're held in by three droid arms on both sides, so he's pretty secure, I think. So, yeah, like that, you just fold them down and let them kind of rest down there, like, onto the whale tail kind of part. So that turns into his butt, <laughs> and yeah the front of it. So you just kind of let them rest there. It doesn't click in anywhere. Or like the legs don't click in anywhere on it. Like I wanted it to. 
but oh well. Gives him more of a range of motion, which I'll show. Uh, but yeah. He will look like this. And I have to raise up my camera because I really brought in the detail because I even made him as tall as he's supposed to be. Or, well, not. Maybe shorter, but still. Sorry, my camera is charging, so I have to have it plugged in. But yeah, it's cool because his wind, his cool red windshield and everything turns into his backpack kind of thing. This is his chest. Minute. Oh, I guess he has a Decepticon symbol just on his back, but you can make sure he's all secure. Mostly on the torso part, like the upper torso, he it tends to break off sometimes, but you just have to make sure it's secure. So anyway... You just fold the arms back around. Um, you know, this isn't really needed. I just thought it would be a cool little thing to add. Just for fun, you can flip down this. Pretend like you're taking out the head like that. Push it forward just a little bit until it can't push forward anymore. And just fold it up as much as you need. You can close this back up. It won't really lock in there, but yeah. It's cool because I added a little bit of silver studs right there. So it looks like, I don't know, just kind of mechanical. So, it's pretty cool. And he has the cool chest, so yeah. And that is the transformation. Very simple, and now you have him in robot mode. So, yeah. I know he doesn't really look that much like Lockdown, but at least I tried. And I think I actually succeeded. I mean, he actually doesn't look too bad. So, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, like I said, he has the cool chest. I know I should have put black behind it, but I only had the red pieces that I needed to put this green thing on all of them. Yeah, at least he has the green part down there. And yeah, he has these just so it covers the head a little bit when it folds down. But yeah. There's a lot of things that aren't really needed, but I just put them in for a look. And I know he doesn't have a mouth, but I'm going to try to make a custom sticker for that. At least he has the cool eyes, though. So his head's pretty cool. Um, okay. Now, I think it is time for the uh, articulation. Okay, first, the arms can go all the way back here, all the way down there, like that, so they can go pretty far. His upper torso can twist 360 degrees, like that, because it's on a spinny base. Um, his head can move all the way back here, back up, down, back can't move side to side, well, his head can't move side to side, but at least his torso can, so he can still practically look everywhere. And now for the legs, which are the most articulated, probably out of the whole thing, very articulated, or articulated, sorry, I can't talk today, but yeah, you can fold them all the way up there, and they can all go all the way back there, and they can also go back down, but they can also bend all the way up there, so it's two parts of articulation at the, kind of, near the waist area, for both legs, it's the same. And, this is pretty cool, it also bends at the knee, which is a new thing, kind of, for me, because I don't really do that a lot with my figures. I just tried to make them as articulated as I could, so. I know he doesn't really have any feet, but he does have heels, kind of, right there, those white things. And he still stands up with those, and stuff. But yeah, at least he's articulated, because... Move all the way up there, up there. That can move, so yeah, you can bend at the knee, which is pretty cool. Except you, you have to have both legs for him to stand up anyway. He's still pretty tough to stand up, even with both legs, so you kind of have to bend him forward a little bit for him to stand up. But yeah, and there's his hands, like I said. Sorry about the white, but anyway. And the reason there's two blue peg things right there is because, I almost forgot, the EMP. You put it kind of in the middle, and there it is. He has his EMP blaster. It's kind of just an extra little thing right there, but this is the main part of the EMP, and it has the two laser parts, or that shoot, whatever. So yeah, you can, like, twist and shoot people, like shooting down people that he wants to kill, <laughs> either Autobots or Decepticons. And also, real quick... You can take just off the um, you can take off just the EMP part, and because I'm gonna make an animated ratchet, I can give it back to him. So yeah, 
it will be going on his arm. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Lockdown. This is 96 signing out.